I'm Georgie, welcome back to my channel, so happy to have you here. Today I am going to be starting a three day food reset. Now I'm not using the word cleanse because the body does a fantastic job of cleansing itself anyway and also I'm only doing it for three days so you know it's not really worth it, it is a reset, it's just like a little clean eating break think of it that way um now obviously if you do have any triggers around food please be please use your own judgment about whether you want to go ahead and watch this video i am not talking about weight loss i am not doing it for any of those kind of cosmetic reasons it is purely for the physical spiritual and mental benefits which i will get into in just a second as i said in a previous video for many people the spring equinox is the start of a new year so think of this as the spring clean that we would traditionally give our homes to our diet quite frankly and to our bodies we're giving our bodies a spring clean what are the physical mental and spiritual benefits so physically we are um, just helping our body support its own digestion we're giving our bodies a break from some of the processed foods that we can put in it whether that's alcohol whether that's uh, sugar processed foods and like the chemicals like msg and things like that that go into um, heavily processed food so and then we can also help um the body clear itself up from lots of mucus so when we consume a lot of dairy for example dairy can be a mucus producing food so you can end up with a excess of mucus in the system mentally it can just help break negative food habits so if like me whenever you get tired you just reach for a coffee reach for a sweet snack um, it just helps mindfully bring you back because you can't, don't have that fallback habit um, you're subconsciously trying to create a healthier long-term reminder of changing the way you eat so that you don't have these peaks and troughs um, obviously it is also a mindfulness exercise uh, when you're really busy we have a tendency to reach for those convenience foods whether that's a pre-packaged sandwich a bag of crisps anything like that because whereas this requires us to prepare the food so we're putting our it's an opportunity to put our energy and mindful consideration into the food that we prepare and mindful consideration of the foods that we're going to eat and the mindful consideration of the benefits of what we're eating and then spiritually um, this kind of links into ayurveda now ayurveda is yoga's sister science and one of the things within ayurveda is they describe food as fitting into one of three main um types so you have at the bottom you have tomastic foods so tomastic foods can include things like meat which can take the body a long time to digest they can sit in us they can feel quite heavy they can make us feel quite sluggish um you know the science backs this up you know sometimes we get that food coma because we've eaten too much meat so think christmas day when you've stuffed your face in turkey and you just have a sleep afterwards because a we've eaten too much but also that meat that we've eaten is making us feel sleepy and drowsy um, then we have rajastic foods. Now, rajastic foods are energizing foods, so think, you know, spices, that kind of thing. And then we have sattvic foods. Now, sattvic foods are like um, the peak of foods. Um, they are your fresh fruits, your fresh veggies. So they're growing and the sun is directly feeding them and they're absorbing all of that goodness into them and then you're absorbing all of their goodness uh so the more sattvic foods we eat the more fresh um not only fresh foods are we eating but more in theory goodness from around us we're eating all in all um this little reset should help us feeling a little bit fresher a little bit more energized and hopefully a whole lot more high vibe. What is included in this little three day spring equinox food reset? Well, fruit, nuts and vegetables. That's it. Technically a restrictive diet because we are emitting some things that are good for us such as grains and pulses. We are 
able to we are not completely restricted in what we do so for example you can have olive oil just get a really good quality olive oil you can still have um milks just maybe go for a nut milk um you could obviously make your own but if you are like me just look for a really clean nut milk um in the supermarket fruit teas are obviously allowed um you know green tea or perhaps if you want something really um if you miss your morning cappuccino or your morning latte maybe try making a golden milk um so that will be you know turmeric your nut milk heating those together maybe adding a little bit of cinnamon like a little bit of pepper to help you absorb the turmeric you don't have to miss out on the protein now obviously we're not eating meat for this three days and we're not eating things that would traditionally replace a meat for protein such as um tofu because that is soy based and soy is a legume not a vegetable um but you can have obviously nuts and nuts are a great source of protein the high or the best nuts really are your almonds your cashews and walnuts you can crush these up and you can put them in the meal so in my seven day one that I did um, was actually using nuts kind of within the meal to give it some texture um, I'm not doing that so much this time around I'm just going to whack a handful in if I'm feeling a little bit low in energy which I don't think I will because it's only three days the only other thing to bear in mind is how much fruit you intake now I'm not gonna, I'm not I don't believe fruit is bad for you I'm not here to say that fruit is bad for you but because we are restricting our diet to fruits nuts and vegetables if you have too much fruit in one go fruit does have its own sugar which could cause a spike in your blood sugar levels which then could cause an energy crash um and then you're just feeling tired and groggy so just try if you are having fruits just be again mindful and considerate of how much you consume and maybe try to have some vegetables with it one of the best things if you're doing anything like this is to be organized now normally when i come to food i'm not very organized which is why i eat so many pre-packaged foods uh, such as sandwiches and ready meals when I'm at work. Now one of the best things is to be organised, which I'm not necessarily always the most organised person when it comes to planning food, so it's why I end up, you know, when I'm at work, I'll either, you know, pre-packaged pre -pack sandwich or a ready meal. So my plan for the week is my breakfast, I'm going to be doing my green smoothie, it's super simple, super easy, and I am going to be adding some nut butter to that for um, some protein, and then and then for lunch, um, I'm doing. I'm planning on having my vegetable sushi, um, which I absolutely, which I absolutely love. Um, so it's made with cauliflower rice, obviously not instead of cauliflower. You know your seaweed wraps, and then inside will either be you know carrot. It could be um, cucumber, roasted pepper, um, maybe some mashed up um, peas or broad beans with some chili flakes in for something a little bit. Busy. obviously salads so like a nice fresh salad and then you know you don't have to miss out on salad dressings olive oil some lemon juice some garlic some fresh herbs or even dried herbs you know you don't have to miss out and then in the spirit of not missing out i'm going to be trying a new recipe which is loaded jacket potatoes uh, and instead of obviously using um, milk and butter to make that kind of creamy filling i'm going to be having a go at making like a cashew -y kind of thing um, and using that instead of milk and butter and then uh, packing that with some more veggies and then for dinner i have some um roasted carrot and butternut squash soup that i took out of the freezer now i am a bit I am really fussy I'm not a bit I am really fussy when it comes to soups and turns out I don't like soup after it's been frozen even if it is homemade so I'm going to be turning this into a pasta sauce by adding some roasted peppers and then using spiralized courgette I'm also going to be using some of it to make a curry by adding a little bit more it's already got lots of cumin in it so just adding a little bit more of those spices and then matching that with cauliflower rice again adding some more veggies some broccoli some more peppers perhaps some chunky bits of onion and then um, I'm going to have cauliflower steaks with a marinade on it and then chips because you can have potatoes so I will microwave the potatoes and then chop them into chip shapes and then roast them in the oven and I will have steak and chips I mean 
that sounds pretty good on a cleanse. I'm not going to lie. With that in mind, I'm going to go to the supermarket, get the few bits and pieces that I'm going to need. If you would like to support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more yoga, wellness and meditation videos. And I will see you for break. breakfast smoothie now because I'm using frozen bananas and pineapples um, I put it into a bowl because it's a bit thicker than I normally would have it normally I use fresh and um, it's a lot thinner so I've made it like a smoothie bowl so I did cheat and add a few seeds this morning um, but I just quickly um, I pop this in my smoothie every morning now instead of spending a fortune on um, sort of pre-made greens um fortunately at work i have a dehydrator and they're not that expensive um but i just bought a bag of kale and a bag of spinach and whacked it in the dehydrator and then i popped it in the blender when it was all completely dry so for a couple of quid i managed to make my own um green powder so yeah so that's how i get the the veggies in without having to worry because i'm i'm I know that whenever I buy a bag of spinach, I'll have like two smoothies and then I have to throw the rest of the bag of spinach out. So at least this way, it's in the cupboard and there might be some nutritional loss. But yeah, so I've balanced out all of the pineapple and the banana by having some greens. I had quite a late breakfast, so I'm going to have an early dinner of my spiralized courgettes with added peppers and peas and then I just sauteed these all together and then I'll just snack on some nuts and vegetables later. Good morning. So my kitchen is a mess, so I apologize for the state of things behind me. And I look like someone that needs some more sleep. I've just had a five hour drive taking my other half to the airport this morning. Um, I came back, I had a bit of a sleep. Um, made myself my morning smoothie. Uh, so I'm about to drink this while I tidy the kitchen and I'll see you at lunchtime. I went out in the afternoon so by the time I got home it was too late to really record and I was quite tired so my dinner was some soaked cashews which I blitzed up with some tomato puree some garlic and some herbs and a little bit of lemon which I then poured over some sauteed spiralized courgette Good morning, so it's the last day of our little three day food reset and I've got my smoothie to go because I'm in a rush and running late. I've just got back, so quickly whipped up um, a late lunch. So I've gone for my kind of, what I was gonna have for dinner, I've gone for that for lunch because I'm really hungry and like I say, I'm a bit later back. So I've gone for using up the last of the really thick carrot and butternut squash soup from the freezer and I added some peppers and onions, which I fried, and then I sauteed in some more peas and some broccoli, popped in the sauce when it was all cooked, and then I paired that with some lemon coriander rice. It's now later in the evening, and I'm about to settle down with dinner. Um, I'm planting comfort food today, so I've gone for the cauliflower steaks with chips, and then I've added some broccoli and peas for some dark, leafy kind of vegetables and to break up the beige plate so i'll uh, have you a quick look so the cauliflower just has uh lebanese seven spice the chips are plain with a little bit of garlic and olive oil 
and then um, just the veggies. So that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I really, really enjoyed spending the last few days with you, showing you some of the things that I eat. Now, I do this every now and again. So last year I did it at the end of the summer because we had quite a hot, dry summer and I was feeling really heavy and sluggish and I just wanted to feel a bit fresher. Um, today I've done it to celebrate and give my body a little bit of a spring clean as we go into spring. If you are interested in any of the recipes, then head over to my blog uh, I'll have written about the experience if you want any of uh, the recipes in detail please let me know in the comment section down below and I will um, upload those if you have enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time have a great day